So it's pretty crazy. Looks like uh, some big bills are going to pass in Washington and Oregon. I don't know all the details about it, but it sounds like it's pretty much going to halt the whole logging industry in its tracks because of all these carbon monoxide and, and exhaust changes and modifications and they have everything they have to do to the trucks or every single piece of equipment they use for logging and uh, timber work and everything. So here's what that means. What that means is to the everyday regular user, it's going to be real simple. You go to Home Depot, you go to buy a little bit of stuff to do some stuff around the house, it's going to be 5 to 15 times more money. A $3 2 by 4 stud, which is like, I don't know, 3 bucks or whatever, pretty inexpensive, um, probably one of the most common items, it's probably going to be like 12 to 15 bucks. You know why? Because you can't get timber out of trees when they put more and more regulations on cutting down the trees and they have to try to squeeze more and more lumber out of smaller trees and then on top of that they make it so hard for the loggers to even attempt to stay in business that it's pretty much impossible and it looks like the average cost is on one of their rigs uh, to do the modifications that this law will have is about thirty thousand dollars per rig so I was listening to a guy be interviewed who owns uh, 30 uh, logging uh, pieces of machinery. In other words, some are logging trucks, some are, some are, you know, other things that are in the field helping them log and everything like that. Bottom line, for him just to do his modifications, a million dollars. 30,000 times 30 is 900,000. So, yeah. So basically, um, he said, you know, by 2023, he has to make all the changes or buy all new equipment. And his equipment is anywhere from $300,000 to $600,000 per piece of equipment. So if you do it that way, you're looking at about a 12 to $13 million investment he would have to do just to be legally okay to keep doing his business. I can tell you right now, people are either going to do a few things or they're going to move away shut down their business, retire, or just just be done with it, and there'll be maybe one or two people that are left, and, and if, if any, and as usual, our liberal... <laughs> Frank, seriously. Crazy Frank. Come on, Frank, get up here. I'm trying to talk about logging. You're just being a crazy pooch. Um, yeah, so, basically, uh, it's going to hit everyone. I mean, people think, well, I'll just, you know, make the air a little cleaner, this and that, because they think these, you know, a few billion people on planet Earth are changing the climate when it's pretty much been proven in the last couple years that climate change is occurring regardless of mankind, because that's a normal cycle. It's cyclical. I mean, weather is, weather and climate are cyclical. I mean, they happen. Uh, they go upturns, downturns, you get colder, you get hotter. You know, as one ice cap melts, one grows more. I mean, on and on and on. But I'm not here to talk about climate change or anything or argue about that. So my only point is this. Yeah, we can pass these bills and we can, you know, get them through the legislature and everything like that and sign them into law. But don't be surprised when you go to Home Depot and your $500 project is now a $5,000 project because you're going to see 5, 10, 15, 20 times higher costs in building materials and everything. So uh, don't be shocked. Once again, I'll be here to say, told you so, because pretty much every time I say something like this, it comes true every single time. <laughs>